Congratulations on the new record. I mean, this is like, it's doing real well for you, isn't it? Oh. Better than all the other ones? <laughs> well, it seems like it is. I mean, I know that, that you guys have uh, been around for a while, and right now we're playing the video a lot on the show. Because oh, yeah. a lot of people like it and write in about it. and We certainly appreciate it, Ricky. <laughs> well, but I mean, doesn't it seem like the fan base has definitely grown? Growing? I, I have no idea. I'm growing old. Is it hard to see because you ha haven't been out on the road since the new record's out? It's just hard to see, period. <laughs> <laughs> on the road or on the commode? Well, Either where, one. That's where I've been. Either one. Now, you're about to go out on, the, um, on this summer show, which you guys are doing something kind of different about, differently. Uh, yeah. The outdoor <laughs> we're, thing? We're co-billing with somebody, which is a real pain in the butt. Seriously? <laughs> You're about there playing with Stone Temple Pilots, Basehead, Firehose, and somebody else I think that I'm forgetting. Wow, Stone Temple mind? Pilots. Who does that band remind you of? Who doesn't it remind you of? <laughs> <laughs> Let's, um, tell me about some of the places that you guys are playing, because it's not your usual venues. We're playing a lot you of You sound really excited. You sound like you can't wait to get out on this tour, can you? We're playing a lot of outdoor venues, which means we can't really do our show that we've done in the past, because the wind blows around our smoke that we love so much. And uh -huh. We're playing on beaches, so we put our projectors out there, and they get encrusted with salt. And supposedly there's going to be dunking booths and, uh, you know, carn funnel cakes and carnival games. And Hot shows. dogs. Crazy kooky stuff. Uh, yeah. I think it's like a, a Lollapalooza kind of mentality, uh -huh. which uh, probably fall like right flat on its face. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah, my dude. idea. I hope, it's, I hope it's a success, man. <laughs> We're going to be back talking to Gideon Paul. And you guys are going to play live also on the show. And uh, uh, which hopefully won't fall on your face. <laughs> we know. You're excited about that one. It's coming up next. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, I, I see Robert him. Williams and Matt Gronig. Well, May, it was the art director for The Simpsons, not the actual oh. Simpson himself. Corrected here. There's probably a press release that said it was the, the guy from The Simpsons. Or somebody know. read the press release and told me, but he worked, <laughs> but Matt worked with it, right? On the video? Not at all. Nothing. See, I just look like a complete idiot here. Uh, Again. No, no, we're sitting here next to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but what about Robert? You do have Robert Williams animation in it. No, not animation, just the little Art. skills. Okay. There's, yeah. some, there's some Robert Williams stuff in the video. And his hot rod, don't forget. His, uh, okay, and the car. 32 Roadster, what is it? Yeah, Deuce Coop. Uh-huh. Well, you didn't here. think you didn't think that stuff is like retarded when it's just still things and they spin. I think it looks kind of cool. I see so many videos that you know, look like the same band good. playing going. And this, I think, I think it's a neat video. I mean, see what you see. You watch it right now. Tell me if you like it. Wow, this is the it. butthole surfers. <laughs> I don't know who worked on this video. Okay. I think good news. You just saw their video. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't even know who worked on it. I've been saying I did, and obviously. I was wrong. The new record is out. It's called Independent Worm Saloon. <laughs> and uh, a lot, of, lot of money in worms, by the way. You can get rich growing worms. Is cut that right? half and you got two worms. And now, and now, if you cut just a head halfway down, won't they still live and become a two-headed worm? Yeah. Wow, that's a cool one. That, that was never part of my youth. See that? See that? Because yeah. you guys are from Austin. I know, we used to just growing up in the poor part. Butts that See that? <laughs> growing up in the poor part of the valley, we didn't have too many cats. We just had the worms to cut in half. But tell me about some of the other stuff in, on the, on the uh, record. I mean, it, it's a whole bunch of different stuff going on. A whole lot of different songs on it, right? Like, tell me about the wooden song. Paul, the wooden song. <laughs> tell me about that wooden song, guys. Well, this song was made out of wood. And the, uh, the other songs were made out of uh, vomiting and uh, some urination. Um, Is that where you take most of your crazy influences two from? Two toilet references. Bathroom. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you get, I mean, where do you, some of your stuff's kind of like out there. I'm still uh, being toilet trained, I think. I don't know Four. what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> so without any more references, when we come back with a Headbangers Ball, these guys are going to be playing like an acoustic Butthole Surfers Unplugged thing. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> we didn't make you do this, okay? I know, this is great. It's going to sell records. <laughs> but I've been... Obviously, a lot of people know that you did the uh, thing with ministry, the Jesus Built My Hot Rod. And a story that I just heard that was kind of interesting, just to detract from the album for a second. Tell me about the bus story. The bus story? It was awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't have anything to do with it. That's not what Al told me. <laughs> but it, it was just this, one of those percussion shells, you know, it was about this big around and that long. And I saw it. And then somebody picked it up, and then somebody lit it. And then we were looking down the hallway of the bus, there was like four guys, 
looking down the hallway of the bus, this beautiful green light came on everybody's faces and everybody had big smiles and the whole entire bus filled with blinding smoke immediately. The bus pulled over on the interstate, bus driver came screaming back there and we were dying laughing and uh, everybody, the person that was sleeping in the bunk next to where it exploded really got the cheap thrill. Yeah, this, <laughs> this but the, uh, anyway, we, they kicked us off the bus and we all like took beers and put them in our shirts because the guy was like, you're getting up, we're like, you because we're gonna get a ride from Chili Peppers, they're gonna be down the highway any second, you know. <laughs> and we got out and all these, all these uh, di Chicago, excuse me, <laughs> got out and started standing in, uh, uh, on the side of the highway, which in Texas you don't do that because that's where all the fire ants are. And the cops came and laughed at the bus driver and we got on our way to Dallas. An interesting story. We'll be back more tonight. For all you tour bus companies, when you, how are you going out on the road this time? I want to find that out and uh, more stuff later. I'm sure the guy, the, the guy that, that has a tour bus company is watching this show right now and he's There's like, a tour bus company we want a different band. Shit. We'll be back with uh, more Headbangers Ball. Nobody's seen this for a hundred years.